In the last lesson of our Ready Math book, we have lesson 28, and that's finishing up our unit on geometry as well. And in this lesson, you start to use some more vocabulary that's going to be, like I said, important as you continue on through elementary school. So a lot of this stuff is going to be really important in third and fourth and fifth grade. So this lesson is all about using halves, thirds, and fourths. All right. So we're going to take a look at shapes and talk about how to divide them up into halves, thirds, and fourths. And that's what this whole lesson about is how to draw and break apart shapes. So we start looking at circles. And they show you here that if we split it into two equal parts, we have halves. I have one half and two halves. So maybe you've had something at home where you had to split it with somebody. Maybe you have a sibling or a cousin. You had to share something and they cut it in half. So you each got the same amount. All right. So we talk about dividing up shapes or partitioning shapes. It's all about making it into equal pieces. And that's really important. As you know, if you're trying to split something, you want it to be fair. You want it to be the same for both people or as many people are getting a piece of it. So everything has to be equal. So if we split it into two parts, we have one half and two half, two equal halves. If I split it into thirds, so let's say there's three people that have to share this, if this is pie or pizza or something, I have to split it into three equal parts, and we call that thirds, all right, because the number three. And then the last example in the circle, the last piece of vocabulary is fourths. And so here we see that we have divided it into four equal parts. So halves, thirds, and fourths is the vocabulary for this lesson. Now, we have it down here as some squares, and you'll see that here we have two halves, but they are drawn in different ways. So both pieces here are the same amount. Both pieces here are the same amount. So we have split it in half because we've drawn one line to make two different parts. All right. And they are equal parts. You can see here that they are exactly the same on both sides of that red line. Over here, we have a bad example. I'm going to put a little X beside it because this one is not. A good example because this piece right here is a lot smaller than this piece right here so like I said if you've ever had to share something with somebody or if somebody had to share something with you and they only gave you a small piece and they kept a large piece you'd be kind of upset about that so you want it to be fair and right so when we think about halves and thirds and fourths and taking those shapes and splitting them into smaller pieces Remember that it has to be equal or it has to be fair for everyone. So you spend a lot of time in the book looking at different ways to divide up these shapes. So there's some easy ways, like for halves, I can just, as we've seen before, kind of cut down the middle. Or I could do a diagonal cut. Again, my drawings might not be perfect, but you see here that they're pretty close to the same. All right, so two equal sides. All right, or I could switch... The way that my diagonal is drawn and I can turn it this way it's still the same piece on both sides all right so then we also looked at how to divide things up into fourths so let's do thirds first so I do thirds which means I have to draw two lines to make three equal parts and again Mine won't be perfect, but you can see here that these are pretty close to the same. We divide it up into thirds. All right. What about, could I possibly divide this up a different way into thirds? Hmm. I could do long horizontal lines, just like I did the vertical lines in that example. I could divide it up into three equal parts this way. So when I drive them into thirds, I need two lines. Or if we're talking about fourths, I could take, split it in half. I could split it in half again, which would make four equal parts. I could draw lines, just like I did up above. But I'm going to have to draw an extra line and change the spacing a little bit. And again, these aren't perfect, but you get the idea of how to make four equal parts. I could also do that vertically. 
So I'm going to divide it up like this. And again, my drawing is not perfect, but you kind of see that those will be four equal parts, right? Again, that's what's important. What about taking this? I put like an X over it. Would that give four equal parts? Hmm, gives you something to think about, right? Would these all be the same? And if I draw my lines perfectly, then yes, there would be four equal parts here. All right. So the big thing about this lesson is you just start to understand that vocabulary, halves, thirds, and fourths. And that's talking about the number of pieces when we divide up our shapes, when we draw these lines to make shapes inside of shapes, all right? And like I said, this whole unit on geometry, these last three lessons are really setting the foundation for you as a second grader to be able to do some stuff as you get to third grade and fourth grade and continuing.